Big Time Patch 0.28 has been out for a couple of weeks now and things are starting to settle down. The token is live on lots of exchanges. People are playing and farming tokens like crazy with their hourglasses and several common cosmetics have been crafted down to zero, not once, but twice now. That's right, once the cosmetics get burned, they get recirculated, at least for the season. People are racing to get as high on the leaderboards as possible and the first big time airdrop is gonna be coming out shortly after November the 10th. So congrats to all of the leaderboard winners. Now that things are starting to settle down, here are my top five things to know about the big time economy. Moving up the leaderboards requires a combination of grinding prestiges, crafting weapons and armor, inviting people and helping them level up and get crafting, and ranking up your own pocket watches as fast as possible. The airdrop winners will be distributed their winnings in four installments. If you win 20,000 big time tokens, you will get 5,000 big time tokens the next four months. You need to craft 243 commons to be able to craft one legendary weapon or armor. So focus on those commons first while supplies last. You're welcome. Crafting uncommon hourglasses now takes five common hourglasses. Crafting uncommon to legendary still takes four. Above legendary, it requires only three hourglasses. If you're curious about someone on the leaderboard, or if you're looking for that next best deal on the market, I recommend you guys check out Dashloot. Dashloot.com has all that information readily available for you there. I will leave a link down below. Most prestige portals require an NFTs to enter, but if you have time crystals or big time to spare, you can find prestige dungeons to run between levels one and 15 that require only big time tokens or time crystals, usually in a party portal fee. So who feels like starting that new pocket watch? All right, that's about it for now, guys. Stay safe out there.